Can we start? Yes. yes. We are also here to listen to your questions and to try to give you and provide you some answers. The second reason why we are here today is to have a meeting with the government. And we will have a meeting this afternoon with the Minister of Finance to give him a letter, a letter signed by Ingrid Delton and myself on behalf of 51 Director General all around Europe. In this letter, we say three things. First, we ask government to reverse its decision. Secondly, and really firmly, we ask the government to re-establish the signal on TV, on radio, and on the web. We cannot work without signal. If we cannot work without media if we are journalists. So we need to be on air. And thirdly, we propose to the government to assist government, radio and television broadcast, uh, public broadcast in Greece to build the future of the public broadcaster. Thank you. Question from the Associated Press. Does air... uh, one, we said it's anti-democratic, the way it has happened. But the other was also that we said it's basically unprofessional, knowing that there are always, with a broadcaster, lots of contractual obligations. It never happens in Europe since EBU was created. It's we, we don't remember, they, they are absolutely no government which cut the signal of a broadcaster since the creation of EBU. Thank you. Voorzitter van de Algemene Vereniging van Beroepsjournalisten in België. Naar voren de vraag, Mark. Misschien wat betreft, we gaan verschillende mensen aan het woord laten. Een beetje gemengd uh, publiek van journalisten. Dat we find it very shocking that in a member state of the European Union, in a democratic country, one political party can decide to shut down the public broadcast. And the only thing we hope is that uh, all political parties will uh, find their common sense, uh, get together at the table and find a solution. One party, all the others, and the press 